Hey, what's up everybody? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs and for this review we are looking at the first of the second batch of figures from the Colonial Marines, Aliens Colonial Marines series. This is the Spitter and it is my favorite one so far. It's a really nice looking figure. It's very similar to the last two. We had the Lurker and the Soldier. Now we have the Spitter and the Boiler. Uh, but it does have new sculpt, new sculpted parts new details and a really cool paint job so first of all the head is a new sculpt obviously and look at that paint paint application on there they did a really good job shading that kind of taupe color into the darker color adding the speckles and then we have the shaded yellowish green parts throughout the sides of the head and the chest it's just a really nice looking figure it's nice and glossy so it does look like the xenomorph that we all know and love you guys know i'm not a huge alien fan but does look cool I do like the character design so that's nice it does have a new tail still fully bendable holds the bends pretty nicely so that's really cool if you're not familiar with the line it's about six inches tall depending on how you pose it so it's pretty much three and three quarter scale it's definitely going to be taller than your average human maybe not quite six let me check that again and it's about five and a half so pretty much in scale there and then it's just loaded with sculpted detail Look at all the little ridges throughout the arms, the chest, the abdomen. It looks really, really nice. They did a good job on these guys. And they come with a lot of interchangeable hands. Maybe too many, not necessarily too many, but a few that we don't necessarily need. But we'll get to that. It does come with a little metal grate type of stand. It has peg holes in either foot, so you can just stand them on there and help him balance. You can pose them without the, or stand them, balance them without the base, but it'll take a little bit of time. Uh, we'll go through the figure a little bit more as we, once we finish with the accessories, we do have another one of the pods. Nice paint detail, looks good. It's the, uh, I believe it's the same sculpt as the other closed pod. I didn't actually compare them, but we do have the closed pod. We have another one of these guys. Nice detail. Would have been cool if it had a bendable tail. It doesn't, but it's still pretty cool. <clears throat> and then we have six extra hands. So these are kind of like more of an open hand for kind of just like the style pose as I like to call it. And then we have just another kind of kind of plain open hand and then a slightly closed open hand. So you can see this top set of hands is pretty similar to the secondary, the second set of hands here. So and they're kind of even similar to the uh regular set of hands. So we do have kind of some redundancy here. I think these right here are the ones you're probably going to want to pose with the most. Kind of with the variable finger pose, I guess you could say. So that's pretty cool looking. And they do give you some options, so that's nice. Uh, as some people asked me, you know, what kind of pose can you get them in on all fours? It's not, the answer is not a very good pose. The heads don't look up enough really to provide for that. But even if you leave the head down and put the hands kind of just on the ground like in a 4x4 four four stance. It's still fairly limited. This guy's hips are stuck right now. <clears throat> you're, you, even if you bring the hips up, you're just not going to really be able to get... There we go. You're not going to be able to really get a good uh, stance on all four. So it's going to be pretty much a standing up type of figure, which I know is unfortunate, but it's not to me altogether necessary. They look really good standing up, so that's that's fine with me. Now, as far as articulation goes, the head is on just a single ball peg. I guess it could technically be a double, but it feels like a single. But you do get a good range of motion other than not being able to bring the head up too far, and that's mostly just because these are in the way. But we do have that range of articulation, range of motion. A ball hinge shoulder swivels around at the torso, and then we have the hinge there. The elbow has the hinge and a swivel. And then the wrists are all just pegged in, so they all have a swivel. At least a single ball peg for the torso. Gives you really good range of motion, actually, so that's nice. The hips are... Apparently that one got put together prematurely, because it looks like we have some paint where it was connected. But it swivels at the torso and in the thigh, and is hinged. Of course, it is a little bit limited by the sculpt of the hip there, but it does give you a pretty good range of motion, as long as you don't mind a standing pose. For the knee, it's just like the elbow. We have the hinge and the swivel. And then down here, we have the hinge 
and the swivel again. So it's a pretty good spread of articulation for a figure in this scale and the sculpts are definitely on point so I definitely recommend these guys if you're an Alien fan even if you're not a fan of this particular game, the Colonial Marines game uh, the figures are pretty darn good and for a $20 price point I think they're putting a lot into the package for you so I do recommend it guys. Thanks for watching stay tuned for more figure reviews, custom figures and other good stuff and in the meantime keep collecting.